Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about longest palindrome in a given string. So the explanation here is completely based on the assumption that you are already having some basic coding knowledge. If you don't have that basic coding knowledge, please take our course placement training for service based companies in our website learningmonkey.in then come to this competitive coding. Coming to today's class, given a string S, yes, find the longest palindromic substring in the given string S. Yes, we have to identify the longest possible palindromic substring in the given string. If multiple substrings of same length, then display substring start with the least index. If more than one substring you found with the same length, you have to display the string that contains the least index. Least index means the first occurrence you have to display. That is what you have to do. With example, you will get clarity. You already know our assumption. Palindrome means A, A, B, A, A. If you look at this string from the beginning or if you reverse the string you will get the same same output a a b a a if you reverse it you will get same a a b a a this is what we call it as palindrome now coming to the example input is a a a a b b a a in this in this input we are having multiple substrings we, uh, we, uh, that contains palindromes one of the string is a a a a which is of length 4 and the string is a a b b a a which is of length 6 which one we have to display a a b b a a so our output is a a b b a a similarly example 2 input is a b c in this example we don't have any string that contains palindrome substring that contains palindrome in this situation we have to display the first character so what is the first character a is the first character and it was given that you have to maintain a time complexity of big O of uh, length of the string square space complexity of big O of 1. So based on this you have to write the code. Now coming to the logic, logic is very very simple to understand. Now we will we'll explain one condition. Whenever you are going to identify palindrome, it may be even length palindrome, it may be odd length palindrome. In our logic, we have to check for both the conditions, even length and odd length palindromes. So, even length, how you, you are going to check the even length palindrome? So, let's take this one of the position, assume that this is our position. And uh, we are taking two variables, ith variable, jth variable. Ith variable starts here, j is i plus 1 position. See, check the conditions a of i j of j the elements that present in these two positions if they are equal reduce i increment j means i minus 1 j plus 1 now i is pointing to here j is pointing to here again check that a of i a of j element present here in this position element present in this position both are same again i minus 1 j minus j plus 1 again increment till you don't find uh, you have to find that until the elements are not matched or the second condition is if j crosses above the length of the string or i crosses this means less than zero string is over so this is what we have to I, this is what the logic is so anyhow this is going to identify even length string see i j pointing to different positions i is pointing to this position j is pointing to the next position it is going to identify even length string similarly we have to identify odd length string if you want to identify odd length string see this is the position a a b a a we are starting from this position i i and j pointing to the same position in this situation we are going to identify odd length string so in our logic we have to apply both the conditions even length and odd length the only difference is ij pointing to the same position in the initially it is odd length ij pointing to different positions next positions then it is even length now apply this logic to the each and every position every position check odd and even length possibility means take the first position apply the even length and odd length possibility take the second position apply even and odd possibility if you take this position if you apply even length possibility what's the string you are going to identify this is what you are going to identify what's the length of the string 4 
every time every time you have to maintain a global variable of count length of the string whenever you identify the substring that contains palindrome identify the length and apply globally because we have to identify the maximum length each time if if next time see at this position you are going to identify a a b b a a what's the length of the string six previously we got the length of the string four the global variable we are using to identify the maximum length keeps on updating the global variable based on that display the string this is what the logic is it's very very simple and uh, coming to the coding part but our suggestion is uh, to try to solve it on your own then check for the solution we are going to display the code you, anyhow you can take the you can visit our website and you can uh, the coding is present in our website uh, you can copy and paste it uh, but our suggestion is to try to solve it on your own this is what the coding part is Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.